In this video, we're going to look at some of the tools that you're going to be needing in order to continue with editing all of your software and your packages and uploading them, etc. The wonderful thing is there are paid versions if you want them. And in later videos when I'm doing some demo of editing, I use a paid editor. But there are lots of free alternatives around on the web. And I'm going to show you some of those now. If you're editing anything, so when we start editing some of the source files of the website, and I'll show you that in later videos, so don't worry about it too much now. It's very straightforward and simple. We're just going to literally open a page, edit some of its information, like changing the pay button, etc., to connect to your website. You'll need something called an HTML editor. Now, there's one here called Komodo. It's K-O-M-O-D-O, -O, and it's a free and open source editor that allows you to edit source code. There's another one called Composer. And that's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R, but that's .net, so it's composer.net. Or you could just pop into Google and look for free HTML editing software, and there are other options available. So it's entirely up to you, or you might even have a paid one that you use and you're happy with anyway. Now, in order to get files from your computer uploaded to the internet, you need something called FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol, something you really don't need to know. It's just called FTP Software, and it allows you to transfer the files from your computer up to any folder that you have access to on the internet. Now, the one I always use, and it's very simple, a lot of people use it because it's so easy to use, is called FileZilla, and that's FileZilla. Type it into Google, choose the client download. Now, if I just quickly show you, I'll go to the main site. You've got the FileZilla server, and the FileZilla client, you don't need the server option, you need the client option, so you click that, and then you download it. It's an exe file, an executable file. You might get a warning come up saying, hey, what you're playing at, you're not allowed to do this on your computer, or you might need admin rights. Don't worry, it's a safe program, it's used by millions of people. Download it to your computer, and then you'll be given a little file that you double click. It'll install it to your computer, and once done, you'll have a little icon, something like this. And when you double click it, it opens up FileZilla and allows you to transfer files between your computer and the internet. And I'll show you a bit more about how that works in a future video. Something else we'll need is something to extract files. If you've downloaded zip files before, Windows has a zip file extract utility built in. But some people might prefer to use other options. And a free one, easy to use, and one I'll be using and showing you how to use later as well when I extract files, is called 7-Zip. And it's at 7-Zip.org. Again, we can go to their site, and you can download the exe file. It's about a 1 megabyte file, or you can download a 64-bit. I'd recommend you stick with the 32 originally. It works perfectly fine. And again, you just download that and install it. And then it's ready to use to extract files on your desktop. Another free piece of software you might want to check out. If you don't have uh, a recent version, I think it's from 2007 upwards of Word. Word allows you then to save as a PDF. So if you're going to be editing source files, maybe you've got .doc files and you want to add affiliate links or change links or whatever inside and then export them to give away a PDF. Word allows you to do that from about 2007, so you're covered. Otherwise, you can get yourself a free piece of software called OpenOffice, and it's at openoffice.org. And it's a productivity suite that gives you kind of similar kind of things that Microsoft Office gives you as well, one of which is an editor, which allows you to convert and save as a PDF as well. So that's something else. If you want a free alternative, then feel free to grab OpenOffice, and that will help you as well. And that about pretty much covers the tools that you're going to need in this course when we're extracting files, transferring files, editing files, and editing any source files like documents. They're about the only things you're going to be needing in order to do that and carry that out. So then you just go ahead and proceed and get ready for the next video. Thanks for watching.